And also in the news, gunmen have bombed the Deato South local government area police headquarters in Dikenofia, Imo State. They freed uh, detainees. The hoodlums, who came in large numbers, set part of the police station ablaze with explosive devices. The explosives destroyed the administrative office, the divisional police officer's office, and the reception's desk. Uh, Chairman of Ideato South Local Government Area Interim Management Committee, Pastor Bede Ikeaka, uh, expressed shock at the incident. And the Imo Police Command spokesman, Michael Abatam, a chief superintendent of police, said he was yet to be briefed. He promised to get back to PLOS TV's correspondent. Joining us uh, live is uh, Jones, FCC, Ongwa Sonia, the member of Imo State Elders Council. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, can you quickly bring us up to speed and tell us uh, about the mood in Dikenofia uh, at uh, this moment? Okay. Um, the news uh, came yesterday that uh, some gunmen attacked uh, the police division in Dikenofia and Washington. So that is my favorite constituency. The police have said that they have been able to arrest most of the detainees who were freed by the government and uh, I think um, uh, in, to the credit of the police, they gave the government a uh, run for their money even though there was a surprise attack which could, could take any force in the world uh, unawares. They lived up to their business as uh, policemen and hopefully this incident will be about the last they will be recorded in the state. Okay, is there any clarity as to, you know, um, who these people are? Um, are they, you know, random unknown gunmen, as they are popularly called? Are they with the ESN or any, any group uh, uh, affiliated with the IPOB? Well, unfortunately, um, we have a lot of criminals, political thugs, terrorists, bandits, uh, hiding under the shield of... Uh, the African agitation will cause mayhem in the Southeast. So at this point, we do not know who is doing that or who is responsible for what happened in the Dato South Police Division. Uh, unlike in countries where terrorists or agitators come out to own up to their actions. In Nigeria, and especially in the Southeast, we have uh, different groups operating under uh, different umbrellas, causing mayhem, making lives uncomfortable for the other masses, and yet not taking responsibility. So we will wait for the police to carry out an investigation and tell us who are responsible. But what is obvious is that um, no matter who they are, no matter what uh, they say inspire them to do what they are doing, it is obvious that the government and the security agencies are winning the war against uh, such individuals because they have somehow been restricted to uh, such isolated attacks in local places, in places that are not uh, easily accessible, so to say. Because if you remember how they came out, they came out audaciously a few months ago trying to take over the entire southeast. But somehow, due to the gallantry of the security agencies, due to the determination of the government, of the Southeast governors, they are being pushed back seriously. That is why they are now restricted to such attacks at uh, police divisions where we do not have enough uh, policemen manning them. So right. we hope that uh, these criminals, these terrorists, these bandits, no matter who they say they are, will eventually be defeated completely so that peace, which the Southeast right. is um, known for, will right. be completely restored. Uh, let's also talk about the mood in, um, uh, in the state. It's not the first time that the Olu zone has witnessed uh, attacks like that. Um, what is the mood among members of the community? Is there any consideration in co on uh, community policing? Um, is there any talk about the Ibu Beagu and uh, the likes also being uh, uh, brought up? Well, I know that the governor of the state has set up uh, the Beagu outfit 
uh, whose operatives are doing a lot in helping the police, uh, the conventional security uh, agencies combat crime and terrorism in the state. Uh, we must understand that uh, the major intent of uh, terrorists anywhere in the world is to instill fear in the people. That is how we came about the word terror. They want to terrify people. They attack the decision or their idea uh, of attacking police formations is to make the people think, ah, if they could successfully attack police formations, then the people are not free. So they want to rule by fear. They want to make the people afraid. They want the people to lose confidence in government, in constituted authority. But fortunately, I think um, the people are resisting that ideology. The people are beginning to see that these people do not mean well for them, and they are getting ready to fight them. The ordinary masses will soon rise up against uh, these criminals who are destroying the economy of our zone, who are destroying the economy of our state, who are trying to turn us to Afghanistan. We, the people are getting very angry with these people and their sponsors. And hopefully, uh, the people will support the government in what they are doing to combat these criminals to bring this whole thing to an end. The South is, is known to be a very peaceful place. This is the first time. We cannot go to war the second time. We've had our war. We fought the war when we did, and this time around, any group of people who are trying to push us into another war is a, is a very unfortunate group, and we must continue to advise them to subsume their interest or whatever they feel they are grieved about to the right channels. Yeah, we have a government in place. We have uh, Johannes and Mbimo in place. We have constituted authorities, and it is only barbarians who will decide to go against uh, these uh, channels and begin to take laws into their own hands. And the people are getting fed up with their activities. The people are getting very angry with what they're doing. And if they continue, they will have the people to contend with. Already the Abubagwa outfit, which is uh, made up of people from these localities, youths who know these localities very well, are doing a lot. That are intelligence. And uh, ensuring that uh, that is why we had a very peaceful Christmas period. They, they, I think they carried out this attack in frustration because they were frustrated right. from disturbing the peace of the state during the Christmas. And now that it seems that people are going back, they want to announce that they are still around. And uh, mm -hmm. I know that um, they will be dealt with the right way uh, if they do not uh, change their styles, if they do not uh, hit to good counsel. Absolutely. Uh, thank you very much for joining us and for being, um, at least sharing uh, uh, some of these uh, details with us. We will bring you up again anytime uh, very necessary. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.